You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing predictions for Clash of Champions pay-per-view, which is a SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view. Wow, you sound pretty hyped there for a second. I had a lot of things to say. Yeah. I'm done now. Seems like you were really into it. I'm done now. This is probably going to be the worst pay-per-view of the year. Um, Well, in fairness, Hell in a Cell was fantastic and the build was horrible. Touche. So... I don't very, know about fantastic. No, it was really good. <clears throat> I don't know about fantastic. It was really good. I don't good. like that word for that pay-per-view. Well, it was good, though. It was good. Not fantastic. Com- it was groin-crabbingly good. <laughs> <laughs> it was much better than we thought it was Yes. Be. Fair so, enough. Fair all right, enough. All right, let's, let's jump into this. Let's go. All right, we're starting with... Well, uh, it's not even... Uh, hold on. Before we get in. I'm not even gonna. It's just that I don't like fantastic. I get it. I get it. No, 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 no. no not not has nothing to do with Hell in a Cell. Oh, okay. But it's just been SmackDown's been the same thing over and over and over and over again. That's true. But maybe and this is where they throw the the curveball, and it'll be completely. What do I get different. hit in the face and get knocked out? Yeah. Oh, all right. That's fine. It's a good idea. <laughs> just throw throw curveballs at you. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Start mean. with the pre-show. We got Zack Ryder versus Mojo Rawley. Who's going to win? It's a tough one. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense because it doesn't really matter who wins. No, but I mean, you just... I mean, Mojo's the heel that makes good points. He had yeah. all this momentum, and then I, Zack Ryder I, comes down and starts bringing him down. I was going to say, Mojo makes the most sense because, you know, he broke up with Ryder f- for a reason. Right. So and Zach Ryan go on to Raw and him and Chad Hawkins can be the loser squad. It's true. Kurt Hawkins, whatever. Chad Hawkins. <laughs> that was Mara, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mojo sounds like a good pick to me. I'm gonna agree. Cause Very you know, good. it makes no sense for Ryder to win this match. Yes. And on to the main show. Yeah. So I don't know what the order of matches is gonna be. So yeah. We'll just say Brizongo versus the Bludgeon Brothers. What are your thoughts here, sir? Um, debuting team gets the win. Oh yeah, I, I don't think it was a matter of how they or if Who? they win. It's how bad do they win? Is yeah. it like like I don't know how Brizongo is going to be portrayed here. Yeah. Well. Actually, this is probably not going to be the first show, now, uh, first match. Now I think about it, uh, the triple threat will probably open the show. Okay. Well, we already went. I, I know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. I, I'm thinking about it now, Fair because enough. I. I would imagine that this is going to be a relatively squashish match, right? Yeah. I, I. I guess I don't think it should be. Well, you see, I don't think anyone really is uh, praising. Tyler Breeze and Fandango for their wrestling ability? Um, No, because their character work is all they've been focused exactly. on. Exactly. So that makes me because feel Tyler like... Tyler Breeze is a very good wrestler. No, I'm not saying that and Fandango's not bad either. No, yeah, ab- no, absolutely. But it, it's just the point that um, that's just not what they're going for right now. So they're probably going to come out and be but wearing I, I some mean, I could goofy s- outfit, and then they're just going to... Right. Lose. You know what? The squash would be fine as long as Brizongo can make it interesting. Mm-hmm. And they can build off of it with the storylines. Right. Because right now, they're literally building the Bludgeon Brothers to do nothing. Yeah, where yeah. do you go from here? They're going to be on the bottom of the, well, the totem pole, kind yeah, of. Because... And- Right now, with even uh, the Rusev Day included, yeah, there you have four very strong tag teams. Yeah, what, were they gonna start beating up the clones after this? Yeah, exactly. So that there's really they need to keep them with Brizango, keep it going a mm. little bit for the sake of both teams. Yeah. So right, because you can't just have them come out and beat up jobbers yeah. over and over again. No. That can only last so long. Yeah. All right. So, like you said, going with the Bludgeon Brothers. Yes. Um, up next, we have the triple threat for the U.S. title. Baron Corbin versus Dolph Ziggler versus Bobby Roode. What are we thinking? Not Dolph Ziggler. 
Uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> so you think they just included him in this match because of how bad he's been complaining about how he's not doing anything? It's possible. Um, I don't know. Now, mm. this this is an interesting one because Corbin obviously hasn't had the title for very long. No, what? Hell in a Cell, right? Uh, yeah. So do we think that he just drops it because he they want to put the title on Bobby? Because it makes sense. It, it does. I, I agree. I think the U.S. title is a good fit for Rude right now. Mm-hmm. I think that... And I know especially when I was like watching SmackDown that I felt like maybe that this would be the correct way to go about it. Um, you could just have Dolph eat the pin to preserve Corbin a little bit. And then just have Corbin, continue the Corbin Rude feud. And have Dolph not be a part of it. Yeah. So that's that's kind of where I'm thinking. Yeah. So I'll, uh, while I agree with yours, uh, I'll be different and I will pick the current champion so you think to defend his title. Corbin's going to retain. Sure, why not? Okay. And I'm going with Rude. I don't got any good reason why he'll do it, but. Yeah, well, it's always. There's never a point in time where the champion Should. winning isn't. Cr- or is crazy. Right. So. Saying well, that Dolph wins. Jinder winning all those matches that. <laughs> yes, but we never really predicted him to lose many of them. No, no, no. So that's different. Well, because there was the. the he had the, the machine end game. behind him. Well, yeah. The end game. Yeah, he did have the machine behind him, that's for sure. Yeah. The end game that didn't end up being the end game because Triple H <laughs> beat him up over in India. Yeah, that's true. Um, but at that point, I think they had kind of given up on the. The India thing? Well, or, more of the because I think their idea was to get him over by earning Triple H's respect, mm. which is what he did, right? So, or I guess would allegedly, yeah, because you know, who the hell knows what they actually or what uh, he actually thinks of him? But it's true. Um. Anyway, mm-hmm. so up next we're gonna go with uh, Charlotte Flair versus Natalia in a lumberjack match lumberjill match it's a lumberjack match yeah, they said it multiple times i like lumberjill better because you know i i i guess the reason why they don't do it is because they're going for the now equality you're different. Thing. yes yes absolutely but it doesn't make any sense there's really no reason no because it's not well, at that yeah. point you shouldn't be calling it men's or women's matches it should just be a match yeah it's true um so it's gonna be i think the entire smackdown live roster on the outside except for becky yeah, which is just basically the uh, welcoming committee and the uh, riot squad, riot squad, and, and Naomi. Naomi. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> um, uh, there's no way Charlotte doesn't win. No, man. I don't see Charlotte dropping the title. The only thing that this is going to do is set up a, a feud between her and Ruby, right? I guess. I I would imagine that's what's going to happen. Or yeah, Naomi turns no, heel. No, no, that's obviously not going to happen. <laughs> I was going to say. Because your your teams are both heels, the Riot Squad and the, the welcoming, welcoming committee, committee, I guess. But but Natalia is no longer affiliated with the welcoming committee. It's true. So unless unless she gets the title and is like the you know the leader of the I don't Riot I don't see squad. that happening because that know. doesn't make any sense. I, I realize that. But what could happen is that Natalia wins, and she and then Carmella them. cashes oh. in on her. Mm um because now that they're not a team anymore right it gives that out this way you can have carmella against ruby Mm -hmm. have a a weaker opponent for ruby as the new person yeah so maybe that'll be something that they do it's possible yeah so i don't know i think charlotte winning is the easiest bet Mm -hmm. and i think at right this point in time it's the right it's so much easier for them to just say Let's keep the t- title on Charlotte until we come up with a, a, a right. real feud. Yeah, yeah, because I feel like, like I said, Carmella's title reign is going to be very lackluster. It could be good. It, oh yeah, there's it, potential there, especially if she works with the right people. Right, but I don't, who she's aligned herself with right now? Yeah, it's not not good. No, so, but for character's sake, anyway, it's true. So, what are you going with? Yeah, Charlotte sounds All like right. the good, the good choice. Charlotte. And uh, up next, we have the 
fatal four-way tag team title match. Yes. But a little different, right? Because there's going to be four people in the ring at a time. Yeah. Um, and you can only tag your partner in, right? Yes. It's uh, strange rules, but, mm-hmm. you know, it's going to be the best match of the night. Yes. So. so we have the Usos defending against the New Day, Rusev and Aiden English, and Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable. All right. So we've already established that there's no way that Rusev and Aiden English are going to win. No. Um, Though I would like them to. It would be nice because it'd be cool because then I just, I don't understand why, but that duo is great. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand why. Well, it, well, it's funny because Rusev doesn't really need a mouthpiece because he's hilarious himself. Yes. And then you have the, uh, the singer mm-hmm. who just sings oh, it's, about Rusev. It's perfect. Rusev. It's yeah. perfect. It really is. It just works. Because yeah. it, it's not a real mouthpiece. It's no. just someone who sings about yeah. him. <laughs> It's true. Yeah. He's just there for moral support, too. Yeah. So, obviously, the Usos are uh, an actual threat to win. Yeah. The New Day doesn't need to win. Yeah. I don't think they benefit from getting mm-hmm. the titles again right now. Not yet. No. It seems like they're poisoning for Benjamin Shelton, and Benjamin, and Chad Gable to win. Yeah. And and then just continue their feud with the Usos heading forward. That Makes would sense. that would make the most sense to because me. Because kind of the Usos have kind of become the face. And well, no, they are absolutely yeah, yeah. faces right now. Well, I mean, but them and Benjamin and Gable have kind of switched. Even yeah. though I wouldn't really consider them heels. They're traditional heels. They're they're closer to heels than the Usos are. Right yeah. Now. So and it's funny because the tag division has no real true heels. <laughs> the only ones you can really call heels are the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah. Yep. Um, and but Raw's their their few tag teams are almost all heels except for Tina um, and Seth. Yeah. So, whatever. Um, I I don't know. I kind of want to go with Shelton and and Gable. Gable. I feel like this is their time. Yeah, it makes sense because if they pin somebody else, then that'll continue the storyline with the Usos. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The Usos can go. Oh well, we didn't. We didn't really lose, lose. the titles, right? So, and yeah, the New gonna... Day can just eat pancakes. It's true because they can go back to doing that, and that's going to get over. Yeah, so it, really oh, doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. They don't need to do anything. Yeah, they just need to be around. Mm-hmm. The fact that they're in a title match is honestly a little surprising. Yeah, a little bit. So, but I, I, I think I'm I'm going to agree with you here. Right. You've made a good because I, I argument think, i think the only reason the new day are in it is because otherwise they'd just be off the card yeah well um, yeah because rusev and aiden english weren't added till last week it was originally a triple threat yeah and at first it was like oh it's all gonna be triple threat matches because mm-hmm. i think at first we didn't know exactly what was going on with the women's match and we figured that maybe ruby would get thrown in. right and, yeah something yeah all right so up next is the what they've been booking as the main event mm-hmm uh, we have Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Um, well, obviously, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are gonna become or come out victorious mm-hmm. because if they lose, they're gonna be fired from WWE. Yeah. Well, th- this just has Daniel Bryan screwing Shane over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To win. So yeah, I, I yeah, like you said, Zayn and Owens are going to oh. win. Also, Shane and Daniel Bryan are both going both to guess, be yes, guest, guest referees. referees. So this one is a is a very obvious one, um, and uh, it's just a matter of how. I mean, unless Shane screws Owens and Zayn, and Daniel Bryan brings them back. I don't see that happening no. because I, I think it would be... But then one. because they're technically the heels, it doesn't work that yeah. way. Yeah. So weird. Mm-hmm. It's a weird dynamic. It, yeah. I don't it, know. It, it literally speaks to, okay, there's only one course of action. The true upside down world. Yes. So, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking maybe Sheen is going or keeps on trying to do fast counts and Daniel Bryan tells him to stop. And then eventually Daniel Bryan just pushes him out of the mm-hmm. ring when something like that. Yeah, and then or Daniel Bryan's gonna take a bump, or he gets those uh, those handcuffs that he had last week, mm-hmm. and then he handcuffs Shane to like the outside. True. Or I'm thinking outside the box here. He enlists the Bludgeon Brothers and beats up <laughs> Shane before the match. 
Sure. Or, <laughs> or he uh, he calls up the Usos and says, get your dad here. We're going to have him run him over in the parking lot. <laughs> and then he can just say he did it for The Rock and everything's good. <sighs> we I need, like that we need, we need more Rikishi on TV. Yeah, yeah. You can never go wrong with Rikishi. Yep. All right. And okay. he's going to give him a stink face afterward, right? I like it. Gonna be All driving right. with no pants and then yeah. <laughs> We're booking now. There we go. All right. That brings us to what we expect to be the main event, uh, which should be the main I event. I would hope so. Uh AJ Styles defending his championship against Jinder Mahal. Yes. So uh I don't see any reason AJ should lose this match. I agree. But however he, the WWE likes to think otherwise. Yeah. So I really hope AJ wins. I don't I don't want him to lose the title. I, I want him to keep it until at least Mania. And and honestly, I don't I don't like the idea of him dropping it to anybody. Mm. So I, I think if they have him face Shinsuke, I think he should win. Um, well, Shinsuke went over in their match in Japan. That, not that it has anything was gonna to say, do with anything. It's not going to make a difference. Um, it's just... Well, they're both old. Yeah. So it's not like one of them's going to out... Well, I, I think Shinsuke will be around a little longer than yeah, AJ. I think he's a couple years younger. <laughs> well, that and AJ has already stated that he wants to retire soon. So I would imagine that he will not lose at either of the next two WrestleManias, mm-hmm. um, especially considering that he lost at his first one. Yep. Very weird. He did beat Chain, though, so that's a plus. That's something. Yeah. Uh, Lackluster WrestleMania matches. The Open both years? AJ? Um, I don't remember. Right, because that was his only two. It was yeah, him he, versus Jericho in yeah. the first one, and last, this year I don't Shane. think he opened that one. No. Though. He might have, yeah. I don't, but I don't it know was, for sure. I think it was early in the car. It was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was early. Yeah. That I know for sure. And that was at the point in time where I don't think a lot of people were not sold on him just right. yet. Well, yeah, obviously. So, he wasn't going to be up near the top of the car. No, especially when you had Triple H against Roman Reigns on that card. That was that was and Shane McMahon against uh, the Undertaker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man. Yep. So. Uh, so yeah. yeah. That anyway, AJ should, should win. Mm-hmm. There's no reason for him not to. I think this. Hopefully, this is Jinder's last shot at the title at yeah. least rec- until sometime later down the road. You know what? Maybe I take back my statement what I said in the beginning. What? I don't know, on, on paper, it does look like a decent card. It's just the fact that on SmackDown, we haven't been getting any wrestling. They're bad at building. No, but there hasn't been any re- Like, it's just been the same crap. The well, interference, yeah. DQ. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I, I guess they're just waiting for it to all well, also, come together. Well, if also, that, if it happens like that, the matches tend to be shorter. Mm. So it gives them more time that's to true. do other things. Yeah. So that could be what it is because yeah. they don't have the twenty minutes to give to matches mm-hmm. like Raw does. But they did build build out a full card. They did, and every match does make sense. Yeah, exactly. So, so I have to give that to them. It's true. So but. maybe there's a little bit of uh, potential in there after all. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. And this see. will be the time that they put out a real stinker. <laughs> it's possible. It's like, oh man, we're getting a little little hope, and then <laughs> mm-hmm. we'll see. But All so right. yeah, that was our Clash of Champions preview and predictions video. Yes, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.